perimeter and the shots weren't dangerous. So what would your upright stance look like, your shot ready stance? Okay. Where would you be if you're killing a penalty? Okay. okay, show me your more movement ready stance where you're a little bit, okay. And then your razor ready stance. You like, want me to square with you? Now we are, yep. Squared up to me, razor ready as if you're about to take a one timer right away. Get your belly button perfectly middle of the angle here. You're there. Okay. Okay. Now turn right where you are, 90 degrees, and face that wall. I want to see a side view of your stance. So just pivot 90. Okay, now face into the net now. Continue on 90 degrees. Yeah. Now turn and face the other way, the remaining side, yep. Okay, now face me in your stance. Show me a butterfly with active gloves. So like you're not in a block. You're more like an active glove position as opposed to- I went down, I'm about to recover, kind of. Yeah, so just show me your butterfly. Okay, show me a more closed butterfly you use if you're trying to handle a tip where you pinch up all your whole, like square right up to me here, all right. Just show me the side view of that. Glove side version and blocker side version. So spin in place. There you go. This show is the blocking or yeah, the, the blocking. And first one is block. Now show me active hands, more forward hands. Okay. Now turn and face that side. Same two sequences. Show me the first one. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Now do the block. So as we, we know, the relaxed concentration you're gonna use when threat level is very low and allows you to conserve energy and be physically, mentally sharp later in the game. So it's a very erect stance, obviously. You got the hell of buck going there and you have enough threat awareness to know this has gotta get down if a shot's imminent. And my camera is a little bit above the ice, so as you can imagine, um, those, those are, clearly filling the top corners from this view, but from the ice view, they might be a hair above the net from the depth I'm in. But we're more looking at balance issues. Nice, 90 degree, your upper body angle is nice, squaring up to whatever um, aerial angle the puck would have. A nice, decent knee bend, a little more than 90, which is nice and comfortable. And your gloves out project in front of your body. You'll notice the blocker is not as far forward as the trapper. And a lot of times, when everything's both equally forward, it's a more balanced position. Yeah. So sometimes guys like to be one forward, whatever, but I'm just saying, normally front to back balance, if both gloves are equal, let me see your stick for a second. Okay. You could. So you want me to do what, what I was doing? Right, okay. so you can, you can do what you want, but when it, when I'm, what I'm saying is, number one, you got it left to right level, but also it's not up against your chest like this, it's gloves are both forward like that. It's, and both blocker and trapper are equal. But that's not something I would change or adapt. It's just something to be aware of. Well, I think the only reason why is, is the stick positioning works a little better, like just like a touch closer to the body. The glove is just like, it's not like that full like linebacker. Yeah. Or like, like Hiller, but just like. It's, it's a comfortable, it's neutral. I this one, mobile, yeah. The thing is, when, you, when you've got this one back here, this covers less net than, like the amount of surface area this covers compared to there is about another one square foot of net. You move that blocker just eight inches forward, covers one more square foot of net because of your depth throughout. It's no different than your body's challenging, right? And that's what you see with your butterfly, your big guy. When you do fully re resort to a block, like you're trying to play a tip, that's something where you might want to play with your gear or your inner knee blocks because you don't want one to be able to sift through there. And obviously somebody can hit that, that's a hell of a shot. But I like your upper body angle there and your thigh upright. You're using a lot of your space. There's a couple of them where, where you're scrunching down a little bit, but leaning forward's always good for the upper body angle to match the height of the puck, like the way it's coming up. Yeah. But technically, I don't see any issues at all. Well, like we talked about with the, the sinking back, you just can't be sinking back. Yeah. You know, no more than, than that. The more it's vertical, the more better. Like when, you, when you're coming in to collapse on a puck, the can, butt can go back and everything can collapse around the puck. But you want to maximize factor your six foot five, right? Well, like you know, highlights last night I was watching like Vasilevsky's so good, like he's always upright, he's not sinking down too much. Yeah, keeps keeps himself high. We're gonna do. It's a confined space, but it's with a a square. 
And basically what you're gonna do, I don't want you touching my pucks. You're gonna have your, see how there's an invisible line connecting the pucks? I need your skates to get up to each one. So you're gonna go around counterclockwise first, T-push, get to each one all the way around clockwise, in the back clockwise, counterclockwise. So get right up to that line, try to go as quick as you can. Ready, set, go. Opposite way, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's first variation. Next one, T-push over, stationary square on that side, hard butterfly, pivot, and then go to the next one. So T-push stop butterfly, T-push stop butterfly with hard knee drive. Ready? Okay. Yeah, set, go. Good job. Now you start down and you stay down the whole time. Starting your butterfly. And then because you're gonna pivot, push and slide over there, you gotta stop the lead slide with your skates. You gotta put the parachute out to stop you so it'll blow past it. So ready? Can be... I do one round slower just to get the... Uh... Yeah, get the feeling, go ahead. So you're gonna pivot, plant, stop the slide there briefly. Yep, pull that knee back down. So same thing like that. And then we're gonna speed it up. You're gonna go there and back. Just like that. And try to... If that brake skate wants to push out like that, you might have to set it up a little more vertical. Yeah, so good. clockwise and then counterclockwise. Ready, set, go. That's it. All right, come to the goal line. We got one last one, and that's it for today, okay? Butterfly slide. Yeah, pushing all, well down all the way there and back, to the, just to the blue line, and then we're coming back. Ready, set, go. All right, hold on, hold on. Twist. Ready? Yeah. job we'll get back there then you're done man you got her <laughs> go almost there I'm not gonna let you get there you're not gonna get there Trav you're not gonna make it all right work to me kid good job kid awesome job